What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan Skills, and today we're gonna to be talking about five reasons Division II agents aren't completing the raid. Now, before you guys listen to my five reasons, I want you guys to go in the comment section and label what your number one reason is, why you haven't completed the raid, or why you think Division II agents aren't completing the raid. So if we head over to the chopper, right, and then we select the raid, we create a raid, and then we're stuck there, right, because there's no raid matchmaking. And that is our number one reason, right? People cannot find enough players to complete the raid because you need a total of eight players to complete the raid. And if you don't have eight players, then you just can't do it. That is the number one reason why, based on polls on my channel, on Twitter, what I've seen people saying is... They just can't find the teammates and as cool as the raid looks they are just having a lot of trouble finding teammates to play with so in this video i'm going to show you a solution that i kind of created it's not a real solution for everybody but i have a discord channel we're going to head over there now and in my description box there's a link for it so if you guys never use discord it's pretty simple once you guys enter the school of skills you'll be in the introduction area but if you go down to where it says division two we have this area that's called safe house a lot of agents have talked there but if you scroll down a little bit more, you have builds. But what you guys want to go for is these LFG groups. We have looking for group for PC, for PlayStation 4, and Xbox. So there are three different groups there. And I also put a raid boss guide for all the guys that I created for the raid bosses right under it. So once you find the group, if you are unsure on how to beat the boss, that is a great way. Now when you guys are in these looking for groups, I would recommend... Posting the time zone you're in, the build you're running, if you're running Unbreakable or not, 300k armor, 80% damage release. Post all that in the looking for groups and that way you're more likely to get contacted by other players looking for one to two players to join their team. And just to give you guys a heads up, I think before I created the Discord looking for group channel, we were at like 500 Discord members and now we're almost pushing 2,000 members. So there could be over 1,500 agents looking for teammates in those looking for groups for PlayStation 4, Xbox, or PC. But say you find a team, right? You find a team and then you guys get in the raid and you're having trouble. Well, the second reason why you guys are having trouble is most likely the builds on your team aren't strong enough. So your build might be good or your build might not be good, but remember there's eight other players in the group. Now my recommendation for the raid, especially when you guys are doing it the first couple times, is run LMG builds. Why? Because they have high damage. If you look, I'm running a 35k Allegro LMG and I have a 37k ammo capacity LMG. So I have two LMGs, one at 35k, one at 37k, and that's based on my build. I do have build videos on my channel for the Division 2 raid. You can check this channel, you can check my team channel, Team Skills. There are build videos out there on my channel and if you guys just follow these build videos, you guys just build a little bit, you guys will be good. I see the biggest issue after people find a group, they're like, oh, we finally found a team, but we're struggling on Boomer. We're struggling on Buddy and Lucy. We can't be Weasel. We can't be Razorback. And that has to do with builds, right? Because builds will take you through the raid, even if you have strong builds and then you have a weak link that weak link will show later on in the raid. So get your builds together, start working on your builds, and hopefully your builds are complete, and then you'll start seeing a lot more success in the Division Two raid. Because remember, once you find a team, then you need to have builds, and then you need to make sure your eight-man team has builds. So don't be that guy who says, oh, my build is good, but in reality, it's not really good, and you're just hurting your team, and your team's always carrying you, and you guys are struggling on the raid more than you really need to, because you haven't taken the time or effort to farm a couple pieces to increase your build damage or increase that damage to at least on your build. So just a little rundown of the stats on my build. You can see I'm running 49% all weapon damage, 38% LMG damage, and then I have 82% damage to elites, which I think being around 80% for the raid is just perfect with the amount of LMG damage I have. Now the next reason why a lot of people fail the raid is a funny one because I've put out videos on how to beat each boss People just don't know the strategy for each boss. I don't know if people just don't want to watch a video because they don't want the spoilers. But you have to put your pride aside and you have to help out your team. Or tell your team, look, I've never done it and I've never watched a video and this is why. But on my channel, I have a Division 2 Dark Hours Raid playlist. And in that playlist, 
I have how to beat Buddy and Lucy easy guide. I have an easy guide for beating Weasel. I have a beginner's guide for Razorback. And then I also have an easy guide for beating Boomer. So I have every single raid boss guide on my channel in a playlist for you. And it shouldn't take you more than 10 to 15 minutes to watch these. Now, if you're too lazy to go to multiple videos, you can go to the Team Skills channel youtube.com forecast team skills and i had just released a complete boss raid guide in one video so all you have to do is click on that video complete boss guide scroll down to the description box click show more and there is look links to each boss links to each boss in one video so if you don't want to look at multiple videos you just want to go to one video that has it all on the team channel team skills you will find that video right there so now that we talked about people having trouble with finding a team and a solution for that we talked about builds and I showed you guys where you guys can find some build videos and then we talked about the strategy I posted videos on how to be each boss on my channel well what is the fourth reason then if everybody has builds they have a team they know the strategy well it's communication communication is key especially in the raid where people have to call out when boomer drops when people have to call out when to switch to gas in weasel when people have to call out when to stop shooting at Buddy, when to stop shooting at Lucy. There's just a lot of communication that goes into a raid. Now that is why mics are essential. But think about it, if you've been running with a group for a long time, you might not even need to talk that much. But if it's the first couple times you do it, of course you need to talk. You need to be able to call out these calls. People need to be on the same page. And that's the next big issue I see with the Division 2 raid. Because I see people with really good builds, I see people kind of knowing the strategy, but then I see they don't have any communication. They don't know how to talk to each other. They don't know how to say, hey, look, we need to get on the generators. Hey, it's damage phase. Can you help us out? Hey, I need help at one, at two, at three in Razorback. There's a lot of different things that can go wrong in the raid. And that's why having communication is really important. And that's another reason why I think matchmaking will be kind of tough. But I also think that for groups that have, say, a seven man team and they just need one guy to fill in. Well, I mean, that's where it doesn't really matter but I think the discord is a great place for you guys to find players so if you're still looking for a team that would be a good place for you and a lot of times you can say hey we really just need someone with the mic because we need someone who can communicate because communication is very key in any raid and especially the division 2 raid now what could be the final reason what could be the final reason reason number five why agents aren't completing the raid well it all comes down to time you need to have a little bit of time so that way you guys can work out your flaws, talk about your builds, talk about your strategy when you're completing the raid. The first time I ever completed the raid, I want to say it took 38 hours. I was week one, that was so we could get the week one patch, which I did get. And then after that, I think it was like two hours. After that, it was like an hour, all the way down to 26 minutes. And then I really haven't done a speed run after that. Now I just run through it with my clan every now and then. I think we might get back into speed running to just try it out with a full clan run because before we had like five clan members and like three non-clan members. But I think we're trying to do a full clan speed run and then hopefully, you know, get get maybe under 25 minutes or so. Nothing too crazy. But it really is time. You need to have time. You need to know that you might not beat it on the first time the complete run you might just be two bosses or three bosses well then take a break you might have to come back the next day but after you guys beat the raid and you continue to work with that team sooner or later you'll be running through the raid pretty quick and if you guys have the builds if you guys have the communication if you guys know the strategy you guys shouldn't have an issue at beating this raid Remember to please check my Discord if you're still looking for a team. I get people asking me all the time, hey Skills, can I run with you? I run with a lot of players and a lot of times my team members have friends and they already invite those guys who've never beaten the raid. So we're helping people here and there. But to be honest, like time is my biggest issue. I wish I could help all of you guys complete the raid. But time wise, I just don't have enough time in the day to help every single agent out. So by doing these videos, showing you guys, creating a discord that you guys can find a team on trying to build these build videos i'm hoping this will help you guys beat the raid and then you guys can comment on my comment section like hey skills thanks for the guide 
We beat Boomer. We beat Buddy and Lucy. We beat Weasel. We finally beat the raid. And I appreciate you taking the time to make these videos. So hopefully that's my goal with all of these videos. My goal with these videos are to create videos that make it easier to play the game. Don't forget the Discord link will be in the description box. It'll be the first link. So just click on it, join the Discord, and welcome to the family, the School of Skills. I appreciate all the support, everybody. If you guys still have any questions, comment section as always. And until the next video, nothing but skills is out.